Hey guys, so let's talk about the Hi-Fi or the Hi-Res audio for the Bluetooth devices featuring the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro which claims 24-bit lossless Hi-Fi audio. This is pretty much useful for anyone using Bluetooth earphones. I tried this with Apple Music lossless and also tried with some lossless flag files and I'll give you all the technicality and details that you should know along with my experience and opinion as well. So do not forget to like this video. Also subscribe. Let's begin. So as you can see the earphones are connected via the Samsung seamless codec which is actually an upgrade to the Samsung scalable codec which is the previous one. So it does show that it can handle 24 bit audio up to 48 kilohertz at least probably on my device. Sadly there is no bitrate information here. So if you are wondering what is all this. So for starters let me explain a few things. So if you see this specification 16 bit and 44.1 kilohertz this is typically the CD quality music and anything over that is treated as hi-fi or high-res audio. Now these specifications actually tell us about the quality of the audio recording or the music file. Something similar to the video specification like 720p, 1080p, 4k or frame rates like 30, 60 fps that you are already familiar with right. So the bit depth that is denoted by the number 16, 24 etc is actually the resolution of the audio something similar to the video resolution like 4k 1080p etc so the higher the pixels the sharper the image is right similarly the higher the resolution of the audio or the bit depth the higher the fidelity of the audio similarly for the sample right you can think of it as a frame rate for videos the higher the frames the fluid the video gets right so the higher the sampling rate the more data that it captures in the audio signal now let's get to the interesting part so if you multiply the bit depth with the sample rate into 2 which is the stereo channel which has 2 channels so you get the bit rate of that audio which is you, you can say it's like the bandwidth so to stream a typical CD quality audio lossless you need to be streaming this at around 1411 kbps. So the more interesting thing here is that most of the popular streaming services stream at max 320 kbps which means clearly they are compressing the audio or using the lossy format so definitely you are not getting that lossless where is that 1411 kbps versus the 320 kbps so the high res goes further in terms of bitrate you can see the plan details of the title which is a lossless streaming service you can see here these can actually go as far as a whopping 9000 plus kbps which is crazy. This is where the Apple Music is very good as they provide lossless audio without charging anything extra. It's on a budget and you can see here you can enable the lossless audio in the settings. Now yes not all the tracks are available in 24 bit high res however they also provide the CD quality lossless audio. So even this one streams at around 411 kbps which means it is far better than other music services and you also find a lot of 24 bit tracks as well. Now let's get to the more interesting part which is the Bluetooth codecs. I mean look at the Bluetooth codecs and their max bitrate that they support. So you can see the AAC which is more popular you are probably using it. It can only handle around 320 kbps. So even if you play lossless or whatever it shouldn't really handle that. And also if you look at the LDAC codec which is the best one it supports up to 990 kbps which means it still does not get the CD quality lossless. However, it goes closer to getting that uh, lossless audio. Things get even more interesting. So if you look at the Samsung seamless codec, reportedly this supports a whopping 2300 change kilobits per second, which makes it the best Bluetooth codec and technically it should support that high resolution audio. Now talking about streaming music offline, you can definitely download some lossless files in the flag format or other ones. However, it's not always easy to find your favorite music, particularly the Indian music. So anyway, I tried playing a lossless 24-bit flag file using the power amp which actually shows the information about the track that you are playing. So when I tried playing it, as you can see, it was indeed giving the output only at 16 bit not the 24 bit so i had to do a few settings uh, so to play the 24 bit so just click on this output option and go into the open sles output and here just enable these two settings float 32 and dvc and also you need to change the sampling rate to 44.1 kilohertz very important not 48 but I'll just select the 48 and show you what happens. So after restarting the power amp and I tried playing the same track and you can see the output details it is playing 24 bit at 48 kilohertz. Now if you look at the output I mean the device itself it is Buds 2 Pro playing at 24 bit as you can see. So now it is playing lossless high res. 
So now let me talk about the resampling issue and the workaround. So now I'm actually playing a normal 16 bit file that is at 44.1 kilohertz. And you can see here there is a resampling going on from 44.1 to 48. And this is a known issue in the Android where some phones cannot really play the 44.1, they resample it to 48. So you're not really getting that bit perfect audio. So to get around this, what you can do is, like I said, enable the 44.1 in the previous setting and this should really do the job. Enough with the technical chatter. The real question is, does it really make difference? Now let's talk about the experience and opinion. So just to give you a simple analogy, just go to YouTube and play any video in 144p or 240p. You'll notice that it is mostly pixelated and you cannot really enjoy the media. Try changing it to 480 or 720p, then you will notice a huge difference and you will start appreciating the media. Now try changing this to 1080p and maybe 1080p to 4K then you will notice very subtle differences, very marginal differences and it is not as dramatic as the previous change. So moving to the 16-bit lossless or 24-bit high-res, the overall sound quality feels richer whether it is the dynamic range or the overall quality. However, if you try searching for those nuances or the new details that you could not find in the lossy format that's quite a task and that's not really the point i would say i feel it makes all the instruments and the vocals sound richer as a result their presence becomes more noticeable which you learn to appreciate now this is my take on the difference sadly this is limited to samsung devices however you can still consider this for non-samsung phones as the sound quality is pretty good so anyway that's been it for this video guys please like this video also subscribe so i can make more such content thanks for watching i'll see you soon